Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I'm on here today to show you our brand new release. I think it's one that you all are going to absolutely love because it has been so highly, highly requested. Um, before we get into the new release today, I wanted to say that if you're new here to the channel, we talk about all things digital planning with our iPads and our Apple Pencils and just productivity in general. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified of all of our new videos. We do post weekly and we have lots Lots of fun, fun videos coming up for you guys in the future. Um, so our new release today, can we get a drum roll? Because this one is a big one and that is a sticker and widget organizer. This has been so highly requested and I've had versions of favorite sticker planners before that come blank for you to add in your own stickers and for you to title your sections and all that kind of stuff. And I, I've used those. I've used the elements feature in GoodNotes. Um, there's pros and cons to each one and I just didn't find anything that I loved. So after a while, I think this one is going to work and I think y'all are gonna love it. So getting right into it, but first off, yes, we made it a split screen planner. Now, right now, I just have it available. Um, it mainly fits in landscape mode, like this is what it looks like in portrait, but it's made for it to be split screen side by side with your planner, and that really works best whenever you have it in landscape mode, in, mode instead of portrait, because portrait just makes things too small. You can't really plan with it if you want to do side by side. I use a portrait planner, but I use landscape whenever I get to the decorating designing stage, um, and I'm going to show you that here in just a little bit. So, it will fit in landscape. It is going to fit perfectly proportioned if you have the 12 by 9 Pro or if you have a mini. Um, the classic in the iPad Air, there's going to be a tiny bit of gray space on each side, but it is going to fit uh, all of them just right as far as split screen, um, as far as being able to use it and all that good stuff. So getting right into what it looks like. This is the front cover, which I love. It is very, very neutral, so it's going to match anything and it's just going to be like a classic look. Um, instead of having the tabs on the side, that was one of the problems I was running into. I needed that space, that real estate from side to side and not make it so tall. So then we changed it. We moved the tabs to the top. And then I don't like too many tabs. I don't like to get overwhelmed. So I wanted to keep everything pretty simplistic, but yet have enough um, to really get the job done. I've offered several different op options um, for organizing your stickers. And I just, I wanted one. I want one thing. I don't want to have to go to 10 different planners. So that's how I came out with this. So at the top, we have seasonal stickers, elements, and widgets. So these are your four categories. So whenever you click on seasonal, it's already pre-typed in January through December dates. So each one of these, you can just simply click and it's going to take you to a blank page for you to put in your favorite January stickers in here. And then you go back to seasonal and then you can click on April and then the same. Um, so you have 12 different pages here that you can do stickers. And then of course, if you want to hit January and say you've got too many stickers to fit on one, you can always hit the squares here at the top, hit this and then add page after, and then you can make two pages for January if you need to do that. And I did that on several different widgets and different stickers that I'll show you here in just a little bit. And then when you click on stickers, you have 12 um, blank sections. So each one of these is a different section for you to label. Um, and so you can have 12 different categories of your stickers. I use this for farmhouse, travel, that sort of thing. And then underneath elements, you have 12 more. So I use elements. That's kind of like me decorating with extra things that can go on any page. So like cactus, plants, flowers floral, uh, washi, instax. It's going to be your generic elements that you're going to put on a page. And that's what I keep underneath elements. And then underneath the widgets, we have the same thing where you can name 12 different subcategories here. And then whenever you click on widgets, it actually has a spot for nine different widgets on each one of these pages. And again, you can duplicate these if you need to. So our widgets fit right in here where they don't look bad organized. Like they, they look like they have a home and a place and it looks very, very nice when you're just going through and picking your things. And I love this. I did not know how much I would love this. I had put a few widgets in, um, sticker planners before, and I love the fact that you can actually see what some of your widgets say because they're on a PNG background and they're black writing. So sometimes you can't tell exactly what the widget is saying and that sort of thing. And so having them like this, I realized there were so many widgets that I offered that I don't even use because I forgot 
thought that I had them. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. You guys are investing money. I want you to get all of the use out of all of your products. Um, so that's kind of where this all comes in. And let me tell you, I have been using this for um, a, a little while now and I love it. it. I don't have to be on my life planner and then realize, oh man, I need a widget. So then I'm bringing up files over here to the side and then, oh my goodness, I need that one sticker. Let me go back into GoodNotes and open up my August sticker sheet and so on. Like having one place whenever I get it open, it's all set up. I love it. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch this over. So the planner that you're going to be buying is blank. Besides it having the January through December underneath seasonal, it is blank. But I will show you how I have mine set up. So I'm going to hit this little um, icon here and I'm going to open this up in a side page. And then I'm going to drag this little gray bar over to this like section panel over here one more over to the right and it's going to fit there perfectly okay um, and it should on the mini and the 12.9 now the air it's going to look it's going to come up to the top but you're going to see a tiny bit of gray on each side but it'll fit top and bottom Okay, so um, this is how easy it is. You can have all of your sticker part that you use, or you can scroll down and do the widget part, and then you have everything you need right here. No going in and out of apps. Everything is right here, and you can see everything really good. So I'm going to walk you through um, kind of what this looks like. So if I click on seasonal, I can go down to um, July, and you can see how my July sticker is loaded. You see my August stickers and then the September stickers. So these are the same sticker packs that we offer on full sheets. I just added them over here on um, these little um, these little pages. So now it's super easy to be able to just plan right here, right? And say I am doing, um, well, I can't show you October stickers, but say I'm on October stickers, but September and October, they have the same color palette. So I wanted to use some August um, or September stickers that I don't have to go and find them. I just simply scroll over and be, okay, there's August stickers. I'm going to go ahead and use this sticker here or say, oh, I, I want to add an element to this. Okay. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on Instax. Okay, here's my Instax. Oh, I have a widget spot down here. I'm gonna hit widget and then I'll say, okay, I want a fun widget, you know, and then you can see all of your different widgets there. I love it, y'all. It is so easy and fun and everything looks so cute with it. We're gonna open up a September spread. Okay, so like if I am looking for something to put down here, say I want a quote, I'll just go to widgets and I wanna do a widget quote. So I'm going to use um let's see we are going into september so let's just use this one here i'm gonna paste this one in here Okay, and then say I want to use a memory one. So here you can see exactly how many pictures is required for each one. Um, see, that's the finance ones. Let's do this one. So we're gonna hit our lasso tool, we're gonna hit copy, and we're gonna paste this one in here. And then let's say I need a work to-do list. So I'm gonna go back to widget. I'm going to work and then I'm going to use this work to do list here. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste. And I'm going to add that one in here. So instead of being in files, not being able to see what you do, I have my widgets planned for this week that easy. And then I'm going to go back to the seasonal and we're in September. So I'm going to look at my September stickers. Oh, let's see. We're getting into fall. Let's go ahead and use. Some of our pretty trees it's going to be turning here very soon i'm going to put this over on the side and then i'm going to hit the image i'm not supposed to be doing this right now <laughs> um let's see i'm going to break this off about right there and put this to where it kind of looks like it's going off of the page there we go okay so then i can start planning right so i can bring any of these really cute um fall things in copy paste and say oh i really wanted a um let's actually put this down here let's say okay i really want to put a picture up here so i'm going to go to elements and i'm going to hit in stack okay so let's say i have this really cute picture that i wanted to add of me and my daughter over here so i'm going to crop this make this to where it's going to fit kind of in and in stacks let's see 
probably about there, okay? And then say, I wanna use this yellow instax, then I'm gonna copy this one and put it over here. Zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna put it kind of going over these two days right here. And I'm gonna hit the image icon and I'm gonna bring this one right back here. And the great thing about these Instax, if you put the picture in first, it automatically crops it out for you so you don't have to get it perfect. Okay, now underneath elements, I also put in my Instax labels that come with some of the Instax that I offer here in the shop. So I hit Instax labels and then look at this. I have all of these where I can see exactly what they say. And I'm gonna do um, here for this, okay? So I'm gonna hit copy. And I'm going to hit paste, and then I'm going to make it smaller. And these are actually kind of size for the bigger, the bigger Instax. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this, hit crop. And I'm going to take off some of this black because they were actually for, um, I'll show you. We're going to put this right here. I actually had that designed for the long or the wider um, Instax. So they fit the wider ones really, really good. And then if you want to use it on these, you just need to take off a little bit of that black. So say, okay, I want to put that there. And then let's say I want to add um, a work sticker. So then I just click on work or say I want to add a travel sticker. I click on travel. And so once you get all of your stickers in here, Oh my word, it is so fun. You can click and use all of the stickers. Everything that you wanna use is super easy. It's right at your fingertips. So I love having the elements, the seasonal to be able to do your whole page, but then say you want a little bit of pop of this or that, so easy to add in. I have the washi, we have a washi page that we sell in the shop, so I have all the washi there. So let me go through and let me show you what mine looks like. Okay. That way, if you guys find that you need the same categories, that's totally doable. So this is the beginning of it. Seasonal, of course, is going to be the same as January through December. Um, I started adding in the seasonal stuff from July, I think. Actually, I think I have a few in June. Yes. Okay, so I added uh, just a few things in June from the sticker pack. I'm just adding my very favorites from the packs that we have. And then if you scroll over, you've got July and August and September. And then I'm going to go over to stickers. And then this is what I have. So we have the farmhouse sticker pack and then I added an extra one for our first farmhouse stickers. And then we have travel, which was a full page. And then we have some extra odds and ends there. And then we have a new one, new one hasn't come out yet. And then we have um, the girl one, which is lots of fun. It's pink and tans. And we have the work sticker pack, which is actually, it may be called the YouTube sticker pack I'm not for sure and then um food this one is a few from like the starter sticker pack and the icon set is kind of a mixture of ones from all of those and then um fun this was just a couple of fun like member keeping board games popcorn that kind of thing uh our faith sticker pack and then um fave these were just a few faves from here and there and then um, home life. This is what I'm using for cleaning or school or, you know, work, that kind of thing that's at home. So that's where these come in at. Again, these are from the starter sticker pack. This is from the school August pack, I think. Uh, this is from a cleaning icon pack. And this is from the icon sticker bundle. Um, and then back to seasonal. So this one I'm saving for, and I'm going to put labels at the top, fall, spring, summer, those, uh, at the top. And then anytime I get special stickers for an occasion that has more leaves and that kind of thing, I'm going to, uh, organize them there underneath that. And then underneath the elements. So these are basically still stickers, right? They're just, it's a different way of thinking about them. These are ones that are going to be pretty much added on any page. They're going to go with anything. Um, so I have floral, just a few of my favorite florals. And then I have plants and then I have cactus, which has not come out yet. And then I have accents. So these are the cute little dots or the boho things. Um, and then I have icon stickers. That's from the icon sticker pack. These are the ones that I will use the most. And then we have the Instax frames and I have two pages of those. We have, um, a couple of these came out of the journal and memory widget pack or no, 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 no. They came out of the memory widget pack. And then we have an Instax pack and then we have a summer Instax pack. And then I have the Instax label. So these labels here came out of the memory widget pack and these labels came out of the summer, um, Instax pack. Uh, so I love being able to have all those in one place. So it's really easy to be able to label those, not have to go find different files. I'm telling y'all, this is just a game changer. It saves so much time. 
Um, and then I have quotes. I'm going to add in more quotes there. Labels. I have an idea for some stickers that I want to make for that. Memory. This is for our memory release pack that we did not too long ago for our um, memory keeper stuff. So I kept that underneath there because I felt like that was just a different planner in general. And then I have a blank spot down here and then I also have washi. So that was our washi pack that we came out with. Okay. And then getting into widgets, we have weekly, monthly, clean and menu, memory, finance, travel, work, quotes, fun, party and Christmas, project and decor. And y'all, I did not realize how many widget packs I have. <laughs> There are so many widget packs. So being able to really organize them in a way that works for you because you're going to buy all the widget packs, but in reality, they're not all working for you, right? Your life is going to be set up different. So just use the stuff that really, really works for you. Just save your favorite stickers because there's going to be so many stickers that come along that you don't want to save every one because your planner will start to get bogged down if you have too many on there. I will say that our sticker packs, um, a lot of people's are several megabytes big and like whenever we have the high end. 25 sticker pack that 25 stickers that come out like in our monthly kits most of those like the good notes file is like very very small just a few megabytes instead of like 50 or 100 like I've seen before so um our, our stickers are sized and compressed to where they don't take up a lot of space um and like this planner I'm not having problems with it at all and you can tell on here that I have like every page pretty much full of stuff. There's just a couple of pages here and there that don't have anything on it. Um, but almost every page is full and um, it loads very, very, very quickly for me. So um, I have to wait on a couple of these seasonal ones. You'll have to wait like a second. So like August one, two, and it's loaded. I mean, and that's probably a fast second. But anyways, just FYI on that. Anytime you're adding in a whole bunch of individual PNGs, it's going to slow down just a little bit. But the planner itself is like one megabyte. So it's not, you know, it's not the planner. It's just what you add in it. But like I said, it's not been laggy at all for me. It, it's just about a second and it's loading. Um, okay, so on to our widgets. Um, I organize uh, ones that are specific to weekly or specific to monthly. I put those underneath these sections. Um, so you can see here I have menu, celebrate, cleaning, this week, business, sermon notes, focus prayer, answer prayer, study. These are ones that I'm going to use on a weekly basis. And I have two pages of those. Homeschool, menu, um, these little mini widgets, three fit on one here. Um, and then back to stickers. Nope. I love stickers, y'all. Back to monthly, I have weekly check-in, business overviews, checklist, goals, mood tracker, and then clean and menu. We have grocery lists and house, deep cleaning, menu lists, recipe ideas, uh, food tracker, today's food, uh, clean, checklist, and then these are deep cleans for all these rooms. And then we have memory. I love being able to see all the memory widgets so we can tell how many stickers fit or how many images are needed for each one and how much... Um, journaling space there is and then we have finance so i think i have one page of finance here which is ones that i use all the time um the envelope tracker the mini savings jar and the big jar the bill tracker and then back to travel i have several pages of travel so this is planning out your vacation exploring packing list itinerary and then we have adventure attractions to do insta shot list all of these um day four you know day five all of those um, and then we have work. So you have meeting notes, expenses, social media, um, and that's all for that one. And then we have quotes. And again, I just picked out like one or two from each pack, like ones that I am seriously going to use. So these are uh, the widget quotes that we have. And then we have fun. So these are my fun ones are the bucket list, hobbies, book reviews, uh, favorite thing that the kids say, shopping, that sort of thing. And then we have party and Christmas. So we have Christmas expenses, the Christmas bucket list, Christmas gifts, party plan, party theme, gift ideas, party food, party expenses, lots more coming. Um, and then our project one. So we have a bunch of ways that you can track um, different projects. So the project lists around the house, your savings for each project, your before and after, all of that good stuff. And then I have a new set coming out before too long. So that is how I am organizing our brand new sticker and widget pack. And I absolutely love it. I cannot express to you how much um, I'm going to be using this one. I used the favorite sticker planners before and I loved them, but I just couldn't get my mind, you know, wrapped around everything to where I still wasn't having to go to files or different sticker sets. Um, and let me just show you too. 
let me go to the new one. So this is the one that's blank, okay? Um, so a couple of things that you need to know whenever you're using this planner, okay? So let's go to uh, stickers and let's go to add text and we're gonna tap on here and say we're typing in work, okay? Now we are going to lasso this and resize it and I sized all of mine like to go over here. And then um, once I got so many, I would copy it and then paste. Well, all of these are links, so it's wanting me to open a link, okay? We don't wanna do that. So the only downfall about using this planner, which there is a hack, is once you get all these filled in, you need to go up here to a gray spot to hit paste. And there's really no workaround. I tried several different ways to make this work, but I wanted to be able to use all of our space. So this was the best way that I could get it. Um, so let's do this and we're gonna resize. Um, I don't like how big they are, okay. So then we can copy both of these or um, you can just hit the text thing. But just do this a couple of times. And then let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So all we need are six more because there's 12. So let's highlight all those. And if you just hit anywhere in that gray spot up there, it's not hard. It's just getting used to it, not being able to just hit paste anywhere. And that's only on these linked pages. So it's not throughout the planner. Okay, so now that you've got that, you can literally copy and paste this whole thing onto your next one. Highlight up here, paste. Okay, and that's all you have to worry about because from there on out, you can just hit the text and you can edit whatever you want that text to say. So you just have to do that like one time and you can have them all labeled. So literally took me like, I don't even know, 10 seconds. It doesn't take very long. Maybe a little bit longer than that, but it doesn't take very long. Uh, okay, so that's how you're going to do that. Uh, that was the only downfall to the planner. And then to actually be able to use um, or put in our stickers, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to seasonal, let's hit September, and then let's go back and we're going to hit stickers and we're going to hit September. Okay, and then we're going to move this over here to the new window and I'm going to turn it sideways. All right, and then I'm gonna move this smaller. So here's our page here. So this is how I got them all on there. So I hit this and it takes a little bit of time to add in absolutely everything it is. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's really fun. And it's another fun way you get to use your pencil and your planner and all that kind of stuff. So um, on most of these, I just took like a section, like whatever section I wanted to start with. And then I just hit copy and I hit paste and then I made it bigger. Um, kind of like that, just to decide on what size you think that you're going to want your stickers at, where it's still a nice viewable option for you. And then copy these, and we're going to hit paste. And I just kind of did it in sections like this. And then, um, let's see, I need to get these in here. So let's do these and hit copy. Till so they were all kind of about, you know, the same size. And it looks like I got all of that, except for maybe that cup. So let's paste these in here. Oops, I grabbed that thing again, so it's okay. Let's just make this a little bit bigger here. And then we're gonna click on this image icon and we're gonna click one of these and delete that. And then it looks like I did not get this little cup here. Oh, I, actually I did, it's down there. Okay. All right, so then we're going to grab Let's grab these two, which I think I may have grabbed that tray again. Okay, we're gonna put these down here. Let's grab these, copy, paste. Ooh, I did, I grabbed all the trees that time. Look at that. But it's okay, just hit your image icon and then just easily get rid of the ones that you don't want. And then we have these. So we're gonna kind of see if we can grab these. It looks like I grabbed the yellow tree again, but that's all right. Make them about the size that they need to be and then hit this to get rid of that tree. And then this is the best way too. If you just stay on that image icon, you can just move things around. We can actually put this up here. Let's put this over here. And there you go. Okay, so that is, oh man, I just added a page. That is all of your September stickers 
easily fit onto that smaller size. And of course you can resize some of these to fill in a few of the gaps if you want to, but I mean, it looks very, very nice just doing sections like that. So it's not like you have to copy and paste each sticker over. No, just do sections because this is just a, you know, a smaller um, width. So just do sections and you can literally have your whole sticker pack done in just a few seconds. So it does not take that long and y'all, it is so very worth it. So I hope this helps. I have had so many emails on how do you organize your widgets and stickers. I'm getting confused with what I've bought and what I haven't bought and uh, just being able to use all of them and getting the, the most use of them to be able to see them, um, all of that kind of stuff. So I really, really hope that this answers all of those problems and makes the productivity that much faster and the planning that much more fun. So I hope you all love this release. I will see you um, next Sunday, if not before. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching these every week. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Happy planning.